pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody this evening and remind everybody that this meeting is being recorded. Um, and we are online. I don't know if anybody has joined us online, but the meeting will be recorded. Um, start out, I'd ask the acting secretary, Mr. Eubler, to have roll call for us. Mr. McManaway? Present. Mr. Osborne? Present. Mr. Adams? Present. Uh, Mr. DeWitt? Present. Ms. Marshall? Here and Jane here. Okay, thank you. Next thing is, I would have to have a approval of the June seventeenth, two thousand twenty-one minutes. I entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay. I'll second June seventeenth. Been moved and properly seconded that we approve the minutes from the June 17th, 2021 meeting. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, pass 4 0. First petition on the agenda for this evening is 2021-003-B, Joseph Garnett and Cynthia Halleck. Do we have Joseph? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, this is a revised plan from what we had last time. Um, I think the Garnett's have worked very hard to help incorporate the things that uh, we had asked them to. So I think it's looking very, very good. Setbacks and moving it off the property line, which has been a problem forever since it was built, getting it off that property line, <laughs> trying not to go monstrous with it. Um, keeping the uh, south side back off the fire station a little bit bigger and off the <coughs> property to the west. So. I think we need to clarify exactly what we're asking for because I was just looking at the last one. Um, so we've got some different uh, numbers in here and looking at the picture. Uh, as far as setbacks that we're looking for, you're asking for a 15 foot rear yard setback, right. an eight foot south yard side yard setback, a 6.3 feet north side yard setback. North and east as they are today. But we're not using the same footprint. That's why we need to incorporate that. Sure. Because footprint is changing. Correct. So we've got to put those numbers in. Yes. Even though that's the same numbers, we need to put those in the uh, request. And the front yard is required 25 feet. It's 15 feet. What is it required for front yard? It's 25, but this is line of sight with the properties there on the stage. And the ask is 8.4. That's what's in the so we, we need to change that request. Dan, do you mind if I just confirm for no, the go ahead. So yes. rear yard is 15, south side is eight, north side is 6.3, front yard is 8.4. Correct. Thank you. That's from the gutters and overhang. We 
we took your advice, but <coughs> that has to be that way, yeah. Yep. So we have dimensions on there from David Kaiser. Okay. Yes. What's the current height of the house, the current house? I believe it's 32 and some change. The current house is like the mid 20s. Oh, I'm sorry, mid 20, yeah. 20, yeah. yeah, sorry. It's 20, 28. Thank you. 28. And our drawings also, we, we haven't moved to elevation yet. That's the next thing with our architect. Um, but definitely below, we're keeping it a two story house. I know that's an important issue, and uh, we're keeping it contained to a two story and definitely about 28, 29 feet. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the so much time to get into no Will this have a full basement? Yes. What's from this 8.4 to this? What is that measurement to on the east side to from the, the roof, roof to the roof overhang? Okay, that's the roof overhang. So, what is the setback from the actual state street? Didn't take that. We took the measurement from the property post, but it's probably about the sidewalk's about six, and another six to the road. So it's close to twenty feet okay. from the from the actual from street the from, from the curb from the, the curb. curb. Okay, because yeah, I don't remember last time we that was that was an issue. Yeah, we never brought that up. We, we never thought it was curb. the property. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to clarify what we're, what this distance and was. This so we're talking we about actually underestimated how far back this will be to street, but distance was a little bit farther than that. Okay. And we're happy to share just for the benefit of those in the room who wouldn't be looking at drawings. What what it allows us to achieve is going in the back today. It does not have um, for accessibility. It doesn't have a first floor um, full bathroom. And bedroom so going back allows that plus it's also not a staircase that meets code if you've ever been in there it's this <laughs> tiny little so it's going to take some space to meet code um, but that enables so we try to keep it really um, uh, conservative to go back just to allow those and then the attached garage will allow a wheelchair ramp as you'll see on the drawing in the in the furthest part back of the garage which would then go straight into the home so then you've got we're able to achieve accessibility within those setbacks, which is, that was kind of our, our goal was, we know that we know the desire is to have a home that looks appropriate for the lot, two story home, all good. And we just have some base accessibility needs that we're trying to meet as well. Chuck, because this is not on the same footprint, um, the, the petitioners do not have to ask for uh, height variance from the current one, correct? That is correct? So they just have to meet the ordinance that is 35 feet or below. That's correct. If we approve it though, I would think that it would be smart to approve it to not exceed 30 feet. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm ready to approve this, but I, I don't think we want a three story house there. We have no, no issue with that. Yeah, we, we definitely understood the concern from the boys before. So, <clears throat> so I guess, I mean, I don't want to debate that, Dan, but um, if if they're not asking to go on the same footprint, then, if, well, then, then why would we request that? Then, then I, if, if we if we did not put a limit of 35 feet, I probably would not vote for it. Well, I'd put a limit of 30 feet. At, if we, yeah, that's right. Okay. If, we, if we said that there's no limit, they could go to 35. I would probably vote against this. Okay. Um, to put that size of house and go 35 feet, 
I think is very inappropriate. Um, and it, again, it's not an issue. Because, sure, I just, I'm um, yeah, trying to learn myself. Right. 30 feet is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it keeps it can measure it with the, with the line of sight pull behind it. So you can measure it. And I think just on that little bit too, if they're about to plan is coming forward, you need the 30 feet and swim 15 yards. So that's what you're improving as far as their plan for they go back. You want to make it 35 after this, they would have to come back. Whatever. Understood. Anyway, right. yep. so that just is a yeah. And we I, not. I agree with what everybody's saying here, but you can never get too much information. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and and to be very truthful with you, I'm having trouble with fitting this much house into that small of a lot that many that many variances um you know it's all the way around it's a variance the four four variances is actually what we're looking for that right yes mm -hmm. <laughs> no other variance here. is there an impervious question with the video no, no. they've got well it. below i think it says 45 percent is covered yeah. thanks I, when, yes. Yep, one yes, point yeah. to bring up, though, Thank you. is they could have built on the same footprint and not asked for as many variances. Right. I asked them to get off the property mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. and put it so that it would be um, more proper, properly placed on the lawn. So we're we're asking them to get off the property line. So that's why they have to have an extra mm -hmm. variance. I, and I, I agree. I think if 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 we're going to approve, but this is bigger than the footprint of the other house. That's that's the and difference. And the setbacks too to the property line are pretty common across that street. Mm -hmm. I think you would agree that uh, twenty feet front and rear setbacks do not exist on that street. And most of the lots on that street are on both streets. It goes from one, you know, from the front is on sure. State Street and the rear is on. Yeah, we don't, we don't know the know, history yeah. of how this yeah. Yeah. happened. Yeah. yeah. It's really odd. Yeah, it could have been a card. Okay, questions from the board. Mr. Osborne. Mr. Euler. Yes, sir. Mr. McManaway. Um, so. Mr. DeWitt. It's a non-conforming lot of record. Otherwise, they couldn't build on it. it we wouldn't even make it a lot today. Um, so we're stuck with the size that it is. And they're trying to accommodate us as much as possible, getting it off the property line. It would, it would be my recommendation that we go ahead and Okay. Any questions from the audience or comments? We have some neighbors. Anybody have any questions or comments? Do I have anybody online? Do you have anybody online? I have three people online. Anybody online like to ask a question or make a <laughs> comment? We do have a letter, two letters. I'm going to ask Mr. Eubler to read those. First letter uh, to the Board of Zoning Appeals um, from Anthony Kearns and Kimberly Kearns um, stated above petitioners have forwarded their new construction plans for our review. Present house slash lot has had a negative impact on our community for far too many years. We are 110% in favor of their new home as designed. BZA board members should see fit to pass variance request and allow construction ASAP. Kind regards the Kearns. The second letter is from Joe Borgraff. Mr. DeWitt, thank you for the notice of hearing on the petition 2021-003B concerning the property located at 415 State Street, Culver, Indiana, that is owned by Joe and Cynthia Garnett. 
We are residents of Culver for over 20 years and have two condos located in the Beach View condos at 611 and 607 Pearl Street. We look directly at the eyesore property every day over those many years. We are in full support of granting the proposed variance. A photo of our daily view is attached and once both projects are completed, it will be a greatly improved view. Having known the Garnett family for over 10 years and having seen the remodeling enhancements they have done to other properties, we believe that the proposed development will further enhance the community by bringing greater stability and value to the residents in town of Culver. Given the high visibility of the property by being so close to Lake Shore, the variance of development will allow for a quaint and attractive house to be built. With the wonderful development which is planned in the community park over the next year and these improvements to the homes along State Street, Culver will continue to be a stellar community in Indiana. Thank you for your consideration in this matter. Best regards, Joe Borroth. Thank you, Mr. Eubler. Yes. We have somebody online. Okay. And I don't have the mute. They have to unmute the mic. If you're online, you'd like, please unmute your mic. Identify yourself, please. Anybody online that would like to make a statement or ask a question, please unmute your mic and identify yourself. Not hearing anybody, so then we'll move to finding a path. Cynthia, do you prefer Howard? No, I have that's my middle name. Sure, that's fine. Uh, the front is 8.4 um, unless we're going to go by more of the estimation to the road we'll, we'll go with what's on what's on there it's 8.4 they're not requesting that's not a, that's not a request that's one of the we're putting it morning. in now yeah. yes we are okay so we'll yeah because it's completely different than the request that we had on our original form. So we need to get set that. So we're going to do the 15, 15 feet rear yard setback. Right. And eight, eight foot south side yard setback. 6.3 feet north side yard setback. And 8.4 front yard setback.
And if we pass this, and then I would um, request that we put a limit of 30 feet on the height of the house. <coughs> Okay, is everybody ready? Remember, if you answer no on any of these three questions, you must vote no on the variance. Based upon the evidence submitted, I find that number one, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Eubler? Yes. Mr. McManaway? And the chair votes yes. Number two, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the invariance will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Eubler? Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number three, the strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Euler? Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. And the chair votes yes. I would entertain a motion that we approve this variance. I'll make a motion. We heard a second. Stipulation of 30 feet height. Yes, thank you. How do you vote on the variance, Mr. Yes. Osmer? Mr. Eudler? Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Yes, it has. Thank you. Get the wildlife out of the basement. Yeah, there you go. Mr. Pupil, those two letters that you can that up with this. Um, after the meeting, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll write down the information. For okay. Oh, well, you can just give, why don't you just give it to me? Okay. Yes, okay. Great. Now it's going to be the Mr. Easter Day show from now on. Please, please do not tire of me tonight. <laughs> uh, the next item is 2021-013B. Mr. Easter Day is presenting on behalf of Catherine Dinsmore. Uh, as you know, we, we met with you before, and there were some issues raised at the last meeting, and we feel that we've done an excellent job of addressing those issues, and I'd like to point out what we've done to address the concerns of the board and others had. Uh, at the last meeting, we were asking for the variance from the front yard setback in such a way that uh, we would be allowed to be uh, to the lakeside of the uh, common line. And that 
Jack. It's a common sight one. And we are pleased to, to say and show you on this first page the activity that we are not asking for that variance at this point in time. We've been able to redesign the property in such a way that we can um, meet that setback and we're basically not requiring that setback variance. The other thing that uh, we've done is, if you notice, we've stepped the property, even though we don't have to. If you notice, we've stepped the front uh, line in such a way as to actually give more uh, sight and, uh, across that line than what the sight distance line would require. We can do that to, to assist the neighbors and to alleviate the neighbors concerns in that regard. The other thing that we've done, which I think it's monumental. Uh, we have dealt with some real interesting issues and uh, products that, that have been found and discovered. And whereas before we were asking for a, a, a coverage variance, an impervious coverage variance in the mid to upper 60s, we are withdrawing that request as well. We believe that we can get this property down to a 40 Something improving this We're using some new products that actually we wish to talk to and introduce to the building commissioner and, and we're working on the project. This is, to my mind, monumental on this project because if you recall the last one, we showed you the picture of the water running down the drain and running to the lake, and we met the county highway superintendent. We were working on ways to try and work that drain and put that together. And then couple that with the fact that we can make this, this property go from a mid 60s impervious to a low 50 impervious, we think is a, is a major concern at this location. Because at this location, apparently, county highway is up better than what we need to do. And so we got trouble, <clears throat> trouble from there all the way around the most of our cities and theaters as a short trip around the place. Structures that are along the way. Then the other thing that, that we discussed at the last meeting is the new city would like to take a look at the elevation that the city of this property is going to be. And so we've, we've given that to you in pages two and three. And then on page four is our impervious calculations. So we have the overall given situation. So based upon all those things, we think it's a great project because number one, it takes down a garage that is located one, I think it's 1.2 inches from the property line. And we're basically taking that down. It was sitting right on the right of way on the uh, northwest corner of the garage. We're pulling that down. We're pulling down the screened in porch, which was sitting way too close to the right of the side yard. And we're asking you to grant a variance of seven feet on the south side for the new construction. We're not going to move the house and stay right here. But in the new construction, we're asking for seven foot and a setback. And on the north side, we're asking for a, a six foot setback. And the only reason we're asking for six foot on the north side is because here again, everybody's telling us we got to put gutters in the channel that property lake. And so we're going to put gutters on the old house, and that reduces it by six feet. So that's what we're looking at. In terms of what the project's going to be, uh, they are planning on becoming more permanent residents of Auburn, Indiana. And there's some issues inside that require major change, particularly there's a stairway that's totally non-standard, very, very steep and unsafe. They have to make room for that stairway. And then they're, they're building up to the east side to have more family space as they become more permanent residents. As you can see, we're moving the garage back and attaching it to the house, and then we're keeping that behind the line of the old house in both the north and south. Back in the, the north side, we're actually setting it back quite a bit. We're using 19 foot depth inside of the garage, which is really easy to take care of. Yeah. So, uh, and, and if I'm looking correctly, from where the height of the house from grade 
it will be under 35 feet, That's like correct. maybe 30, possibly. It's going to be in the both of these places. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe they, they went out there and set that with you so that we know where that, because it's a real strange one. But the, the elevation from the um, mm -hmm. old Highway 17 down the lake is really dramatic. And so then where is your elevation? So they actually met the check and check that elevation. And we can move that. Is that changing the height of the present house? Probably, yes. A little bit higher? It's just a little bit more. But then it's not changing the, the space, is only changing on the front part. You're just changing the roof a little bit? Is that the well, the grade of the roof? Yeah, I think, I think it adds some more living space and then it changes the square layout. Oh, okay. I just need to confirm that. Yeah, I, I was going to say what you did. So this is where I am right now. Um, south side yard of seven feet. Correct. Uh, north side yard of six feet. Yes. And a rear yard of ten. Yes. That's all I have. Thank you. And actually, the seven feet is. Is the new construction. The new, new construction, and that actually goes to three foot four presently. Right. right. Notice on the near side, the new construction is quite a bit more than the six six. So we have to go back and get that better up in the old. Okay. Yeah, probably the new section is what, 10 feet on the north side? I'd say it, at the corner it's probably working. It's yeah. <clears throat> not even need to go there. But <laughs> if you notice the retaining wall on the south side probably makes the new construction about 10 feet on the back to the retaining. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go there because our surveyor said that's the problem. Oh, so. okay. There's a wooden retaining wall. And I might mention that the terracing that they're going to do inside the house will really help in our opinion the views of that because they're gonna they're gonna terrace it in such a way that that's some of that retaining wall can come down. And then the people to the south and north can not be looking into the retaining wall or into the retaining which is going to be used. And you said the line of sight issues were Pretty much taken care of. So in our mind, I don't think the neighbors to the south would agree because they is is that the one off the deck? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. But by by going behind the the, uh, the setback as required by the ordinance, and then stepping the the house that was done, they think would really help their site. If you look at the line of sight from their deck. About the only thing they could see would be the neighbor's house in the morning. That's about the only thing we're walking. Other questions, Mr. Osborne? No. Mr. Eubler? No. Mr. McWanaway? Just for personal information. Do you know how far it is? And just you might want to ask as far as where the existing grade, how far it is to the addition down to the bottom of where the bottom of the deck is on it. Um, approximately eight and a half feet. But just we've got about a foot or so uh, on the existing house. And by the time we get down to the level on the bottom, so eight and a half, maybe nine. Nine probably the most. That's what I would say, yes. <clears throat> Not really an issue on this, but yeah. I don't want the information for sure. Sure. 
Is there a basement under the current house? Yes. Yeah. Is it finished or is it? Um, no, just a floor. We put down a floor over the concrete. Final. Mm -hmm. It's not changing. You know, changing it, we're using it. And using it and. Yeah, yeah. We're using it now and wouldn't change. Mr. DeWitt. Um, this was a tough one after last mm -hmm. time we, we have met at the site, talked about it, established the grade and everybody understands that they're taking an existing home, which is almost unheard of, which I definitely um, applaud them for that and, and trying to make it compliant with the new rules and bringing that front back to that front line setback when we inset that to me, it looks like um, and getting that garage off the road. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I would hate to guess how many accidents have been there or or close or close <laughs> to. Yeah, exactly. Because I've been in and out of there, so it is pretty tight. So um, this overall was a huge improvement from um, where they were at. They, <coughs> work with us to make the changes those step backs that's not easy when you're designing a home because you're bringing it in your room moves uh, we're just moving the outside and the lines but it is a huge difference on the inside do you have any idea what the how old that house is when it's built you know, i tried to find out um i think it's one of the original ones but the auditor's records <laughs> On the website says 1900. I know it's not that, um, but all the walls were plaster in the house. Um, well, I would think 30s maybe. And we tried to find out when that area was platted, and it was platted in 1955. But there's not really accurate records. No. Yeah. <laughs> I have found that with my house also. Yeah. Yeah. And I applaud you too with the impervious area. That, that's a great improvement. Mm -hmm. Do you have yeah. a question about that, Chuck? Um, you know, new materials, right? Um, say construction starts and those new materials aren't going to cut it or, or get the construction done and they have to go back to other. Is, is that a question even? Like, is there even a possibility they, that would happen? That, they have told us what they're going to use. Yeah. That's what they're going to use. Okay. They don't, they don't get a chance to change it in the middle. Okay. That's, that's how it's approved by the impervious. A part of it is <clears throat> just the stones that they use or the uh, concrete pavers that have grass in them and things like that allows a lot more water to get away. <clears throat> it makes it that impervious. What is the actual size of this lot? <laughs> So do we know? Uh, <laughs> on the bias, it's, it's 70 feet on the bias on the road right away, but I think that's more like 50 feet at the road if you go with 90 degrees. Yeah. And then on the lake, it is 40. Just measuring quickly across what I've got here. Um, I looked at it before, it's about 50 average through there. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions from the board? Any comments or questions from the audience? Yes, sir. And please identify yourself for the secretary and your address, please. Sure. Uh, Jim Walsh, uh, 40 West Shore Drive. That's the properly directed to the south? Directly to the south. Okay. A um, couple questions for the board. Um, and we met with the judge on the and look at the Joy Weekend. And we'll have to see there's been some changes on, on the corners. Um, you know, the first question would be is the, you know, my understanding was the existing house, um, which is that room, you know, 12 and a half feet at the east end, you know, that's a single story house. Um, part of the house, and so they're going up to this new elevation and creating a two story space. So that's only four feet from our house. Um, also, that doesn't, I believe, have a basement load. So now we're going to start to see a basement level if you look at the section. Uh, and so that's one of, our, one of our concerns, certainly, is being so close to the property line 
been going up costs in the story. Um, the drawings don't kind of show that there's actually construction going on, but if we look at the elevations, we're certainly going up on single story to a two story space. And I think we're turning it down to create a basement below so that you can add that on to the, to the new addition. Um, and then seeing a three story space, you know, seven feet away from the property line, it's just such a, a big house um, for the property. Um, you know, certainly want to. Try and work with a neighbor so just with such a, a large home for that lot. I guess the third question for the board is the, and I see it, that they've come back to the common line. Uh, and, you know, the question is, is that's from our deck to Hayes's deck. But yet if you look at their site plan B, their deck is extending way beyond that line. So I don't know where, you know, we'd ask the board what the definition is for structure. And I would assume we go deck, deck to deck. Um, as far as where, where that has to be on that line. Do you have the, the latest drawing? I do. Chuck's in it. He's right for me. So I'm looking at it. Right, so unless it's changed since what they submitted to Chuck, I'm not sure it may come up. I'm looking at site plan B, it shows the wood deck beyond the common line. Everything else is lining up with the other two. I have that. So, that thing's talking about that. I think he's talking about this right here. Where that's cut out, that's not actually part of the deck. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the step right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the step. Yeah. 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 There's no deck attached to the house. Right. Maybe what he's thinking of is the terrace. I'm yeah, the terrace. We're going to be doing some terracing down. Sitting on the ground. Yeah, that's that, that's that cut out right here. Right? That's what we're tossing out. Right. Well, the little cutout is, uh, let me show that as a demo of that little corner. Bits. I believe it's the entire 12 foot section that you can cross the road from down. Build a basement and that goes up two stories. Well, three stories with the basement. So, if, if I'm reading this right, it's the corner of the house and not a deck. It's touching that line of sight. That's correct. Okay. That is correct. What's, what's touching it the way he's got it drawn is the gutter. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll be blunt, I told him to declutter this thing a little bit. Because he had so many things on there, I couldn't even read them all. But the outside red line is the line of the proposed gutter, and the inside red line is the proposed wall, which I had told him before they had to, mm -hmm. had to go from the furthest extension. So you actually had to put a line of flight. So, sorry. Yeah, I, I was talking about the 591 square foot deck, which extends out behind the common line. That's the and just to confirm, uh, we don't see anything that extends out past the common line that Mr. Walsh is talking about. Right. There is going to be some terracing, okay. but that's that's basically. I think Chuck has, has told us that that's wall retention and and uh, getting the soil down, right? Yeah, and and our ordinance does say that in terracing and and the walls that that isn't a structure. So they're just so keeping it part of it down. Part for the, we don't have site plan B up there. I'm sorry. You don't have site plan B. Why don't you come up and show us what you're looking at, sir? I site plan A, South Elevation A. Talking about this big deck. Yeah, no walking. So this is what we were handed today. This is what we're looking at. Which is why we're all saying that we don't see. No, this is site plan A. This is what. Chuck sent me what you want. Is it today? Yeah. 
Is that something that from before? We show um, Mr. Adams. I don't know. Is it this, this is what we all have today. Mr. Walsh has site plan B that has a, a lot of the drawing. Maybe it's the drawing that was, of the terrace. Uh, the first time around. Are there permanent building calculations up for this? This is ours. Yeah, yeah. Was just, yeah. If you want this, you this has got the permanent building calculations. Mm -hmm. So we have that on the Maybe they eliminated that sheet. Yeah, we have this on our last page of permeability com uh, calculation. Uh, we, we do not have this. And this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the type of things that want to store right? uh, basement. So when they build this, you can, you can verify the permeability as far as three stories up. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Four feet away. We work enough on that. You have to ask for four foot yeah, variance as opposed to the seven. Yeah. I couldn't find that. I asked for a seven foot under the structure. It's not to stay as it is. It's a one story. I mean, that's, that's not fair. Or I don't know how you guys interpret that. I mean, it's <clears throat> Sorry, Mr. Barney, that would be for your question you had to ask. Sorry. Yes, I, I think this is. is this Can I see what yeah. he was looking so at? He's, he's looking at site plan B that has more of the terrace, I think, drawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so all the structure. Oh, yeah. but that's, yeah, just yeah, that's just the design of the terrace. Okay. No elevation. There's no elevation unless they put an umbrella up. Okay. Like to have this back. Okay. Other comments or questions from the audience? I guess I would just add that we do think it affects the substantial. I'm sorry. We do think it affects our property substantially. Because of the line of the site of site. Having a three story house four feet away, adding on to the existing properties. He's, he's suggesting that the um, right here where the new construction is coming in, that it actually creates the basement that can be seen, the main floor and the top that's four feet away. And not and not and not the seven. And not, okay. Um, of course, our response to that is that well, the you know, structure has been here for. 100 years and it's right on the property line, and trying to move back from that property line and, and decrease the numbers of plumbing. What is the actual setback for the new line site? As far as that proposed way to push out on the site, as far as the line site goes, it's a beat up from the porch, whatever, going by the line it's site. It's approximately 30 feet. Because when we came in last time, we were asking for a variance uh, on, on the line of sight to 25, I think it was, we were asking for last time. And we backed away from that to, to help the neighbors to the south. But I mean, you're still within that. And quite frankly, if you look at oh, yeah. more than that, Not more than, yeah. I just want to get this on record. And two houses south is really close. The one that sits back is his house. And I understand he's got some from he's got a neighbor to the south that's a lot closer to the lake than we are or anybody else is. But we, we think we've we've handled that as best we can with what's already there. One of the this is one of the situations where this house is setting close 
to the line. The Walsh's house is setting approximately 50 feet off of the lake. You know, they sell the property. Somebody else can can come and change it, or they can themselves. It's, it's I don't know what the answer is. I'm just giving you that. The Walsh's are about 50 feet to their deck, and Densborn is about 30. And one of the south would sit about about approximately south of the Walsh. Mr. Easter, I have a hardship question. In the original petition, the hardship was listed as non-standard lot size, lines not parallel, present house not parallel, lot lines, topography, and elevations, kind of a catch-all. Um, and tonight, I think I heard more permanent residents uh, from the Desborns, uh, hardship of uh, the stairway being an issue inside the home, um, and then build to the east to accommodate the more permanent residents for more family. Um, and then finally attaching the garage and not having the garage that was 1.2 inches off of the road. Do and I have that accurate as? And the water issue. And the water issues. Water issues. Very good. And, and this county highway is putting some drains in? There's been some talk of them putting some drains in to the north, just to the north of the our property, between our property and Lady to the north. I don't think she's here but um, we, I met on site with the county highway department and we talked about the problems there and where he thought he could get three uh, trains along there uh, with the structure mm -hmm. to drop it into and then slow it down the coast of the lake. So we're well, I keep a close eye on that because that's going to be paved. So and post the page. Oh, really? Yeah, so we got to get that in. Yeah. The why I'm watching it closely. Yeah. yeah. Is that Mr. Peters? Yeah. And they have to get someplace to get it to the lake. Yeah. Which is probably going to be down through us. But that's okay. Yeah. Like I say, I don't think she's here and I don't want to speak for her, but it was my understanding the lady the north, the biggest concern was getting the water away at no cost to her. <laughs> Okay, other comments, questions from the audience? Anybody online have any comments or questions? If you do, please unmute your mic and uh, tell us who you are. Okay. Any other questions from the board? This move to finding <clears throat> tax. I have one okay. thing I'd like to say because understanding we go by the line of sight on home from the lake, so we have a ordinance that 25 foot setback, and usually the time that the line of sight actually comes in play is if existing houses prior to this ordinance and setback, they get closer than that 25 feet. Require somebody, a neighbor, to not be able to build according to the ordinances because he built on the back side of his lot instead of on the front. See what I'm saying? You're trying to limit how much a person can use on their own lot by being only by a line of sight. You've got a 150 foot lot as far as from the lake to the backyard and then the property lines keep getting narrower and narrower as you go so your neighbors got only 100 feet 
so to speak. I mean, you see the, the angle on this property. When you start getting to that angle and it's getting closer to the lake, that person is not going to be able to on some properties. But you can be able to meet that side of it. The lost See what property is approximately 50 feet or 20 feet. The, deck. the one to the south of the washes um, is about 60 feet off the lake. So if you're trying to use a line of sight as a reference point and you're keeping a person from actually making his house compatible with the ordinance, then you're taken away from the ordinance and then you're going by a line of sight to let the neighbor control what can be built, so to speak. So you're actually, I, I don't know what the proper words as far as what you would be allowing, but you would not give one property owner the same opportunity to build a house where they want to as far as the neighbor. See what I'm saying? In other words, the line of sight, you know, this property would be required to be 35 feet by line of sight. And the ordinance says it can be 25. So are you going to go against the ordinance's variance making it farther than what's required? Or can you make it? You see what I'm saying? No, I do see what I you're saying. Sure. What you're saying. Mm -hmm. um. we've, we've met one site use. Right. And met line of sight as well. Now, are we are we straight on What's being asked for on the variance? 10 feet rear yard setback. Um, is it six feet uh, north side yard? Seven feet south side yard setback. And it says front, front yard setback of 25 feet. Yeah, we did Right. We line of sight. Okay. I'm sorry. And we withdrawn the impervious. Okay. And that's what I was going to ask. So the four point four point two to add on to an existing property, you don't need a setback for that. Because it's already it's an existing house. Single story going to two stories? No. The house is the existing house is going to two Correct. It's a small the house is two stories. The house is two Yeah, the, the existing house is two story already. So, so it's the part that's in front of what's existing. Right. So it's right. so it's new construction going two story, mm -hmm. not the old. The old is already, already two story. All right. Not true. Not true. All right. Is the lake room two stories? The lake room one story. But the lake room comes out no. of that. So we're talking about the footprint there. It's present. And you're you're saying because they're changing the foundation at that point that it's going feet, from 12 feet of the premises part of the house. Only one story. Doesn't have a basement. Turn that off. Basement below that. Now it would be three stories, basement level and two stories. That's only 4.2 feet away from the house. I think that would be the question. They don't show it in the construction. They're adding on. Them. On the section, you can see it's a three story you know, it's a two but there's story house. Well, there's another section structure. The present house goes to that corner. Yeah. So they're, they're already. The present house is at four feet. The new part that's being built is seven feet, right. which is what they're asking for. My only question on the board is that section that's four feet is only one story. Bring that down and put in a basement and then up two stories. My understanding from the truck was that it gets turned down and moves. It's just that edge of the house that just south. You want to make any comment on that, or? I think my comments already made. There was in four feet there. They have the right At to present. two stories. 
without a variance there, mm -hmm. that's their choice. And now they're asked, what they're asking for is a variance on that. Mm -hmm. So, well, I see what Mr. Walsh is saying. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that part of it. Yeah, yeah. So, and I agree with you, Mr. Doyle. I, I don't think they need a variance for that corner. Because it's not actually changing. I'm sorry. Because it's not actually changing. The, the, the foundation is not changing. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we ready to move to find any facts? Ask, Everybody understand? I'm sorry. Did you ask for online? Yes, I did. I don't see anybody actually. Yeah. Right. It's going to be line of sight. I'm requesting them. And this impervious, they're not requesting any variance. Okay, we're ready for finding facts. Again, mind you that if you vote no on any of these three questions, you must vote no on the variance. Based upon the evidence submitted, I find that number one, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general mm -hmm. welfare of the community. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Hubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes.
Number two, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property, including the variance, will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number three, the strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. I would entertain a motion that we approve this variance with the stipulations that are listed and the changes from the original one. Um, do I hear such? I'll make a motion to approve the variance. I'll second. Okay. Just to be specific, that's asking for a five, 10 feet rear yard setback, a six foot north side yard setback, and a seven foot south side yard setback. That's the only request. How do you vote on that variance? Yes. Mr. Husband? Mr. Eubler? Yes. Mr. Wanaway? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Okay, the next item on our agenda is 2021-015-B and Mr. Easterday, no surprise. And this is for uh, Rucker. Rucker, thank you. Tonight's my night for handouts. Yeah. Project is located at 144 South Shore Drive. It's owned by Jim and Kim Parker uh, here behind me tonight. And um, like I say, I like handouts tonight. The uh, site plan doesn't change at all. And, and really the elevations don't change very much, but they sent me these beautiful pictures a couple of days ago and uh, dressed them up a lot. I, I just really like them. So I brought them down to show you what the concept <laughs> is for the uh, property. This is a situation where the owners desire to remove the present structure, which by our calculations is nearly unfit for human habitation and to replace it with a new home. Um, the structure has been there for many, many, many years, all that I can remember, and it's just to the point where it's really not worth trying to fix up or do anything with it. Um, we have Grant Courier, I hope, online tonight. And if he does, is online and able to talk, I'd like for him to join in by Zoom and give us a real brief explanation overview of the project. Uh, Grant is the architect on this project. Thank you, James. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Great. I'm Grant Courier, uh, C-U-R-R-I-E-R. -R -R. I'm president of Linden Group Architects, L-I-N-D-E-N. G-R-O-U-P-I-N-C, and we're in uh, Orland Park, Illinois, 10100 Orland Parkway. And thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to speak with you tonight and talk about the Pure Rutgers project. Just on a technical question, I don't have the ability to share a screen, right? Or do right. I? Okay. No, sorry. Okay, no problem. I guess if you can 
orientate yourself with sheet A-0.0 um, in the packet. That's the uh, architectural site plan. Uh, okay. <laughs> It has the site data on it. There's a vicinity map. A0.0. It's in the bottom right, Dan. I'm bottom right. Yes. Great. So, what we're talking about here, Barry. It says A0. That's an overhead view of lot 14, Jim and Kim's uh, site. And the gray line indicates the footprint of the existing residents. Okay. And darker black line is what is uh, proposed as the new footprint for the two story residents. Um, due to the insufficient structural integrity of the existing foundation, which we're estimating is of mid century, and the current footings not being designed to support a, a new second floor, the, the desire has been to efficiently and practically expand their livable area to meet the needs of their family. The existing house we estimate from the 1940s probably has a habitable area around 1200 square feet, maybe 1300. Um, and in doing so, the, the goal has been to improve on the dimensions of the existing minimal building setbacks. Obviously, the structure was built uh, before your ordinance was probably enacted and there was any sort of obser observance to, uh, to setbacks in the structures. Um, also of note, I think Mr. Easterday brought it up, but the lot actually doesn't meet the minimum required lot area size. We're short by about 21%. Uh, the, the lot area is 8,600 square feet. Um, and then just to have a conversation about the setbacks and what we're looking at, uh, the front yard side, which is considered the lake side or, or the north uh, direction on this particular aerial, um, we're showing for the proposed new residence, 65.75 feet, and that's basically to align per L1 zoning district with the existing uh, adjacent neighbors. The minimum setback is 25 feet from normal high water marks. So there's really no questions or variations requested here other than the patio areas, which are at grade. Um, we are seeking a variance um, for that extension out into the setback. Looking at the left side or the west setbacks, the existing gutter is about 6.9 feet from the property line. Can I get you to go back just a second when you're talking about the patio area? You're talking about the northwest corner that sticks out past the solid black line? Correct. And that I believe would be the, the northeast and the northwest stick out past it. It shows it just touching that line, the line of sight, I think. The building is at the line of sight. Sure the patio, if you look at the, the beautiful pictures he's given us, the patio would stick out just a little bit more uh, past oh, the sight. It's line. A, See how it, the patio sticks out. Just on one side. Hold on, on the other. You're talking about the structure patio or the, the patio? I'm talking about the patio. The structure. Yes, grill is, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just want to clarify that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sure. Thank you. Um, so looking at the left side setback or the west, uh, the existing gutter is approximately 6.9 feet from the property line. And our proposed design is actually eight feet from the property line, over a foot more of a setback or a cushion. Uh, and note that the new wall construction is at 10 foot, which is actually the required setback, although the set, we don't understand the setback is measured to the projection of the structure. And then looking at the opposite side, the right side or to the east, the existing gutter is only 0.3 feet. It's actually almost touching the property line. And the existing wall is only 1.8 feet. So that there's been some challenges over the years with ingress, egress, and you know neighborly love, and every everyone's been cooperating. But we're trying to better that situation. At least get the wall over five feet uh, from the property line, and the gutter would now be 2.8 feet. So we, we can have some uh, better circulation and uh, ingress, egress 
for lawn equipment and maintenance. The rear yard or the south side, which is the street side of the lot, uh, we're looking right now at the, uh, the existing closest point is about 12 feet um, from the property line. And our new design uh, has that, that shortest corner or the, the corner of the house that's closest to the property line, about 7.3 feet. It does widen out to over 20 feet because of the, the angle of uh, South Shore Drive, um, but our closest point is about a little over 17 feet. 17 feet. Yeah, I thought you said seven. Oh, and I was, I, seven. Yeah. So the proposal is 17. 17.3 17. feet. 17. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> that's, that's an important number. Now, I don't know if you have in your packet, there's an L1 landscape drawing, which has a blue and no, a do not. yellow tone to it, but we, we have submitted to staff. We, we can follow up after the meeting, but we've done uh, impervious and impervious calculation. Uh, our non permeable surface is below the 50 50% 50 uh, threshold. And That's we are. We're not asking not for very yeah. no. Okay. We still have to ask. Yeah. And we're also not asking for any variance on height. We'll be under the 35 foot um, mark. Okay. Just to. But it will it will be a two story structure, not a three story, correct? Yes, sir. It is a two story structure. I, I believe the residence to the west is over two stories, but we definitely want to be in, in a better um, a better scale and a better fit with uh, the ordinance. Mr. Currier. Yes, sir. Um, you're very thorough in everything you've done here. I think you probably have the height of that house already don't you yes i do what would that be well there's a number of different ridges and elevations but the highest ridge which faces south shore drive is 34 feet actually 30 33 feet 11 inches okay thank you you're welcome so speaking of the the that would be on the southeast corner. The pitch of the house on the south side. Looks like on the southeast corner back there, it's got a interesting. Yeah, that's I think this lower. is that's lower no, than that's the, lower than the that's lower pitch than of the house. Okay. Okay. Side, I'd say. Yeah, and we if if you're looking at that elevation that faces South Shore Drive, we actually pushed back that higher gable um, a bit so it's not stacked right on top of the wall. So there is some relief. Um, okay. I think gives a nice interest to it. Uh, basic materials here are natural um, field stone in a, in a full bed thickness. It won't be um, a stick on product. Uh, we're showing in the rendering there that screened area um, for uh, possibly a generator, maybe some mechanical equipment, um, you know, trash cans, and it also kind of separates um, a service entrance and directs people more to the front entrance around to the left. Uh, the siding areas are a shake shingle look. It'd probably be a, a cement, a painted cement uh, board product, as well as the trim boards. And the roofing is a combination of an architectural shingle and the standing seam metal that you see in that tower element. So as much as we can, all maintenance free materials and uh, certainly clad windows. I'm happy to answer any questions at this point. There is no on this property, correct? That's correct. Currently isn't that isn't going to be there's a garage door, but it's got a, a wood floor you can car won't fit in. Well, we're gonna come back out, right? Even if you got <laughs> it. It's a glorified pantry. I might just comment uh, when I asked for variance for the rear yard fence, 
to be canned. I wasn't real sharp on or sure what we were going to do. His pictorial shows half up with the cobblestone and then um, the cross hatching. I think that probably would be 50% or more. And that's the reason I asked for that variance. But that's just to enclose the generator and the garbage can. Basically, well, I see it's a very small area. Yeah, yeah. right. There. right there. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah, right there. That's got the it. fencing I'm talking about. Okay. Really Thank you. But but we are, that is a fourth now variance that has yeah. just been brought in. I think, well, it's part of the original position. If Chuck says that that's a, a fence in the rear yard that has more than 50% old paint, then mm -hmm. we need a variance for that. And I was worried about it because of the cobblestone, mm -hmm. even though it didn't go full yeah. height. Is it going to be over 70 inches? The cobblestone? Um, I don't believe we envision that being over 30 inches the stone. Okay. I'm sorry, Chuck. It's, that cobblestone is going to be over 30 inches, so therefore it doesn't, um, it isn't a, an accessory structure. You know, we have the mm -hmm. 30 inch pool on the ones. Right. It's no longer a fence if it's higher right. than that. Yeah. How many so that it's sense. under 30. Mm -hmm. And then the other variance I would mention, and I'm here again, I'm not sure, but it looks like to me from the survey there's a concrete pad at the lake. And the dimensions were not on the survey, but like Chuck was just saying, our ordinance says you only have two accessory structures or one accessory structure on an L1 property. And therefore, if the patio juts out past that line of sight, I'm asking for a variance for that. You understand what I'm saying? There is one out there now, you say? I believe there is. If you look at the survey on the, on the, the uh, plaque, it's a, uh, I think it's a 8 by 12 uh, yeah. concrete bed right at the lake. Right at the lake. When I was there, there were pier, piers. Mm -hmm. just okay. Patio, piers. Patio. Patio. Yes. That's what caused me to ask for the bearings for okay. the patio. Uh, okay. I don't know that it matters, but what would be the purpose of leaving that? Back to here on it. Yeah. <laughs> Storage. Yeah. That's what they use it for. Yeah. That's what they use it for. So we don't have to grow grass every year. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask you, but I know your clients are here. Um, part of these setbacks would not be necessary if they combine both parcels that they own. Is that correct? I'm not aware that they own. No, 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 that's not a word. He's only got one line. I think you're over one, two to the east, one, two, four, one, forty four. If you can change it, we can get another lot. There. <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't pay back taxes. <laughs> yeah. You He has very wonderful network on each side, uh, but they're, they're on each side. Right. Uh, just a couple of questions then, just to confirm about this uh, second accessory, assuming that it's, it's needed. Um, we are just talking about that concrete patio that goes past the common line. Exactly. Um, and so there's there's not going to be anything built on that that would go above 16 feet or anything like that. No, and there would be just just a slab. I 
myself, I'm still concerned that we're still going about line of sight because you only got the 17 3 in the rear yard for 25, and we asked for the variance. But if we go by the line of sight, you're still how far you are from the lake, well within your distance, probably 50 feet, 60 from the lake to the front, front yard. Probably, but, but we want to line up. We want to line up the two neighbors. I know you want to line up the neighbors, but you also asked for a variance, but it cut down on the 25 foot variance. No, not on 25 foot, on the line of sight. Here. But you got a 25 foot requirement on the rear yard, on the ordinance, and you're asking for a variance for that. What you're asking for a variance, the hardship would be because you want the line of sight to match up. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying I apologize. you're trying to restrict. The front yard. You're saying you put it across the, the road, road and have you 25 can, feet in the You can path. still have both front and rear yard the setbacks the compiled. You said the side line of the front and rear matter. yard compiled with right? the big feet. He's saying okay. that the line of sight is secondary only if someone's ahead of the 25 feet. Well, I disagree. Well, that's I, that, that's not how we've that's not the way we looked at it. it. Since time began, um, so I yeah. The ordinance are set because if this seventeen three is allowed as a rear yard setback, every ounce that's sold within that property is going to be restricted to not comply with the uh, uh, ordinance. Well, that's in other words. Even though this was built prior to the ordinances, but now you're saying because it was built 50 years ago, according to no ordinances, and now you want to build it back, even though we've got ordinances. But you're you're actually asking for a variance because the ordinance is this now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, I know that, but you're building a new house. Yeah. Right. No. No. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I would just like myself. So you're saying as, we should build a sure I I don't want variances to apply to when they don't do not need. Yeah. But you're not suggesting we push the house closer to the lake. That's what you just said. That's exactly what I'm saying. And if you didn't want to push it, you could make it shorter. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not trying to give you options. I'm just like yeah. to see the yeah. The ordinance is more compliable unless there is an actual hardship to create a new house being built. Yeah, we, but we, if they moved it further, then they'd have to ask for a variance because of line of sight. If, if line of sight is what we use, the they would have to. Is the secondary from the ordinance? I, I hear what he's saying, but we're. 10 years into this ordinance, um, and now we're going to do it differently. It would be my opinion, Mr. President, that we need to ask our council to get an opinion on that and how we should do it. If we've been doing it one way, and now we have a different view, we could have a lot of problems. I think <laughs> that you're going to be charged with leaving it Magic. as it is until we get counsel. I've got a comment if I can. My name is Mike Copeland. I'm the major director of the meetings for the Berkers. And from my perspective, uh, we're here because of the lake. So if you move that house forward, then you're obstructing my view. So I'm in here. I'm here to support what they're doing. And uh, I, I disagree with what you're right. saying because then you're impeding on my view of the lake. Right. You're also impeding on the ordinances being enforced every time we build a new house on the lake that we're trying to protect mm -hmm. as well. But if we haven't used it that way, we we better get counsel before we change what we do. I mean, you, can vote, you can vote no on it and be well within your rights, but to say that this is going to change, I think we're making a big mistake. I disagree with that. Everybody's involved in opinion. I appreciate that. I want to hear everybody's opinion on this. Do mind if I just quickly, uh, yeah. Mr. Copeland? Yes. With no D or L E N. L E N. L E N. 
Thank you. You have a letter. Uh, oh, all right. I, I'll, I'll get from you. Yeah, I have a letter. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Mr. Osborne? Mr. Eubler? No. Mr. McManaway? Mr. DeWitt, any more comments? Uh, anybody present from the floor? We, we do have two letters to read. Actually, we'll go to those first and then we'll come back to the floor. Mr. Eubler, if you'd like to read those. Yeah. All right, this is from Mike and April Copeland. Uh, dear members of the Culver Board of Zoning Appeals, we are the adjacent neighbors, property owners directly to the east of the Pruckers property and have been in this location on the lake since 1973. We have reviewed the Pruckers plans for new construction and their variance requests and offer our support to their project. Sincerely, Mike and April Copeland signed July 9th of this year. Second is from Mike and Jill Schrag. Uh, dear members of the Culver Board of Zoning Appeals, we are the adjacent neighbors, property owners directly to the west of the Pruckers property. We have reviewed the Pruckers plans for construction and their variance requests and offer our support to their project. Sincerely, Mike and Jill Schrag. Okay. Signed, July 1, 21. Now, any other comments or questions from the, the audience? Anybody online have any questions or comments? If you do, please unmute your mic and identify yourself. Okay. <clears throat> then are we ready to move to finding of facts? Jim had it in there. Yeah, I think we are to we're we're protect everything. We're putting it in a protect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anybody yeah. need me to review the, the Yes. Anybody need me to review the six variances that are being asked for? I believe it's everything that yep, it's all go, go ahead. It's just go ahead. Okay. Uh, west side eight feet, east side two point eight feet, rear seventeen point three feet. Then the rear yard fence, uh, what it's in the petition. I'm sorry. Yeah, too many quotes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the sixth is the second accessory structure, which is the patio that extends just past the common line. The only thing I would like to specify on the fence is that it is a around the mechanical equipment. So we don't grant a variance and then they build a fence all the way across. Stock eight fence, yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> you got official reference for me and all that on the page and
Chuck, do we need to put anything in with the second accessory with the current 8x12 pad only being used for pure storage or storage? Like, they can't build on it, right? They can't put too much on it. Right. Okay. No, they, no, they can't build on it, but you can't put too much in there. Yep. Again, I'll remind everybody, if you say vote no on any of these questions, you must vote no on the variance. Based upon the evidence submitted, I find that number one, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number two, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property, including the variance, will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number three, the strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. No. And the chair votes yes. I would entertain a motion that we approve this variance. I'll make a motion we approve it. I'll second. It's been moved and properly second that we approve this variance. Any further discussion? If not, how do you vote on the variance, Mr. Osmer? Yes. Mr. Eubler? Yes. Mr. McManaway? No. And the chair votes yes. It's approved 3-1. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the commission. Court Thank you. Uh, would you mind if I give this back to you? Thank you. Very beautiful. Do they over there? Well, that's a lot of fun, I think. Mr. Easterday, you're up again. You're back. I'm back. Kind of like a dirty penny, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay, this is petition number 2021-016B. Mr. Easterday, on behalf of Daniel Cook. Yes. Um... If you recall, we've had some discussions in the past about a triangular shaped property at uh, 492 thereabouts uh, West Shore Drive. And we kind of come to the conclusion that you're not really excited about our putting a residence on that property. 
And one of the discussion items that we had in the previous meeting is, have you thought about consolidating or doing something with the property to the north such that you would use both properties and go that direction? We've gone back to David Kaiser, and I don't think he's going, but um, uh, no, I can't tell. Yeah. So we've, we've gone back to him, and he has developed some pictorials. Uh, I'll be real blunt, he has not drawn plans because we just don't know where we are. And so we wanted to show these, these plans, these pictorials to you and indicate to you that this would be uh, where uh, I call the Montgomery property, that that's shown my age. Uh, it's the first house north of the, of the vacant triangular property in, uh, in Char Montgomery over before, before she needed it to uh, our trust. And so um, we were presenting this with the idea that that property would be a teardown and this would be built on the exact same footprint as that property, but it would require a variance for height. And so the, the one variance we would be seeking would be a height variance. Yes, they own them as separate parcels. And I know that you are probably going to come back and say, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to say. <laughs> that uh, should we gain approval on this, would we be willing to consolidate them? Yes, if you look at our plans, it actually has the driveway exiting out to that other property, and therefore we would consolidate those into those parcels. And we will. Feed West Shore back over to. No, we will not. So you want to own the road? Yes. Who's going to maintain that? The road is an Indian trail that became an easement for highway purposes, and the county has an easement through there for highway purposes. And I have the Court of Appeals case in Dolly's eyes. That particular parcel of ground. <laughs> because what happened was when the Terra, do you want me to it all this? No, go ahead. When the Terre Haute and Logansport Railroad ceased to exist, there was a a, a disagreement between a parties called the, the Lane Trust and George Montgomery as to who owned the former railroad right. And the county got involved because if the county road, which actually touched the railroad right of way, was owned by the county, then the county owned the east half of the railroad right of way because they were the adjoining property. But the, the local court and the court of appeals ruled that the county did not own that property. It was an easement for highway purposes. And therefore, George Montgomery or his trust owned it, and he picked up the east half of the railroad right of way. It's called Lake County Trust versus Lane. And I'm happy to share it with you. But it's just the right of way that went back to that property. Well, the, the property West Shore Drive. Side. West Shore Drive. Part of West Shore As Drive. As we go down West Shore Drive, about half of them are deeded to the road, and about half of them are deeded right through the road. Half the road. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, I, would, I would disagree with half. Well, uh, whatever the number is, right. some of them are, some of them. But I, I would say, what is the harm in doing that? So well, I can. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, just for the sake of argument, I don't want to argue. But if we deed that property to the county, then the property on the west side we can't build a garage in because you're going to tell me it's a separate parcel. As a separate parcel, it's got to have a primary residence for any old graduate. So that's that's the issue. 
as an example. There's other issues, yes. but the parcel doesn't include what's across the road. Sure does. Not sure it does. Well, it's wrong because it does. Well, it includes so the east half of the road. We're talking about the edge of the road is what we're including or the property on this. This is what Deacon shows. That, that goes to this side of the road. Oh, this is a separate parcel. This is separate. This is separate. So, but, but for our purposes here, we're just asking to build on that. It's east of Lake Shore Drive. West, West Shore Drive. Sorry, West Shore Drive. Correct. So, what would we call the setback on the rear yard setback? Well, when we were talking about the triangular portion, we were taking it from. Well, we wasn't aware that we were going to try and argue ownership of the road. <laughs> Who is? Who's arguing ownership of the road? I'm only trying to get it back and get it to where it should be. And we've got a chance to do it because they want to build a new house. Trying to get it back. We're trying to set things up the way it should be because L1 on um, the opposite side of the road is going to build property considered for infrastructure structure from one side of the road to the other. Right. That's, that's our concern. On, on I know. If we give a quick claim deed to the county, then that property yeah. on the west side of the road is something we can't build on and probably unbuildable. They've, they've got two parcel numbers on it. If it has two parcel numbers, it's the lakeside has one parcel number and the cross road has a different parcel number. Those are different parcels. I'll go back and check it again. I feel pretty confident about We can't correct everything, but as they come up, if we don't make that effort. I guess, I guess my question is without researching it further, if, if it's shown as two separate parcels and the road's not included, why is it an issue? Why we don't own it then? Is that what you're telling me? I'm saying that this shows that the property line goes from the lake to the west side of the west road. The west side. Right. That's, that's as far that's as what it goes. Well, that's my point. It includes West Shore Drive. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to build a garage on the other side of the road. See, I used to, when I was county attorney, I got into this all the time. The county, the farmers would come in and say, why the, <clears throat> am I paying to the center of the road if I, if I can't farm to the center of the road? And we explained to them that back when these roads were established, they were established as highways by easement or by user, and you get to pay taxes to the center. And that's what they're doing here. They're paying taxes to the west side of the road. Right, as as an owner of two properties, correct? No, no, it's one, it's uh, two separate. I parcel mean, numbers. two separate properties. There are, there are five parcel numbers owned by the same owner. I've been over this thorn right. enough. Mm -hmm. But my question is, <clears throat> if your intentions were building a garage on the other side of the road anyway, but if you got two properties, it would be without a primary residence on your property. That's my point. But that's my point. Two different lots, I even though they aimed by the same property, you couldn't. In other words, what would stop? I think, I think we're going down a road we don't want to go down tonight, but. Right, maybe but, not. But I mean, that road. Well, I'm, I'm be, maintaining it's, it's would not have to be checked out properties. because if you're intending to build a garage on that side, then you would have to try and get a secondary structure without right. a permit. That's, right. that's the issue. Right. And I know, I mean, as far as, I mean, we've done a lot of issues before but I mean that's what we're trying to get away from that's what but, but, we're guess, talking about. Yeah. but, but that's to... but that's what has allowed people south of the landing there to build the garages with residents across the road because they are separate right correct correct if you look at just going <clears throat> south of them you've got uh Gary Craig's you put the garage into the mm -hmm. space above it um I think Carreras were next but that's why, because they are separate, that's why you can build that over there. Exactly. You can build a, so he can build a garage over there exactly. if he puts some kind of residence there. Yeah, so right. 
because well, those are separate parts, right? But some right. of them aren't. But if you can't put the garage without the primary structure first, the but I guess tonight, what we're interested right. in, what's your thoughts on our tearing down building on the same footprint the structure similar to this? With a and needing a 30 or a variance to 35 feet. Yes. That's, that's uh, the reason we're here. And you're going to include the two properties to the south of it? Uh, <clears throat> Are you wanting information? I mean, we, we don't have a site plan or anything like that. We can't vote on it. Probably not going to put it. It's the same. I mean, it's not something yeah, we can vote. You want information. Yes. 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 What? Yes. 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 I think we need. I think just proof. Sound like I'm a guy all the time here. All the all the. But I mean, and we're not. They're just see. I think they're trying to find out how we lean towards this. We're not going to vote on this because we haven't even got a proposal. Yeah, we have a variance the, petition. Well, well, well we that's true for 35 feet. Yeah. Okay, you're right. That's the only thing that's the only thing you're trying to get for 35 feet. When when you look at that lot separately, what's the impervious percent on that lot? It's very well less than 20. You include the road, which he says he owns, and it's on the parcel. You probably have 95 percent of purpose. Sure, oh, there you go, Jim. <laughs> I'm not pleased. I'm not trying to argue with you. It yeah, was just no. a little. Got you this time. Okay, you got me. But if you look at the, if you look at the road and everything to the lake, you have to the road on the east side of the road to the edge of the lake, probably. Plus the 20, maybe 15. My, my first thought in looking at this is the part that sticks so close to the road, the round part of it, um, we're now making it basically two stories, um, which I, I think my comment when you were here last time asking. I I I would. <laughs> my suggestion was to put those two lake lots into one lot, and then expand over into that. And maybe you wouldn't even have to do that, but not keep it the same footprint. Um, but uh, you know, again, we get into we get into height things, and and. Um, I guess that's what we're looking for: some direction. If we took this, this structure and slid it across the property line, which you know Chuck and I have discussed, that you're going to build in the same footprint, you got to build it all in the same footprint. But if if we came back with a variance to slide it south across the property line, is that more meaningful to you? I'm sorry. Is that more meaningful to you if we did that? Take the structure and slide it south across the property line without going to three stories. I see, and and I I. Hate to say that while well, you span that, but then you go see up, up to 35 feet there. I just think that's way too close um, to the road there at 35 feet. I just. I, so I would just like to say that there's a huge tree in front of there that is way closer to the road and way bigger than that house. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is I, I agree. a tree that is this round and is this far from the road and is in the electric lines and probably 20 feet over the top of the house. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that here. But it's still the the round part of the house is um, very close front, to the road. But it's in front of the round part of the house. That's why it's rounded is because mm. they built it. Around so, that, okay. Yeah. It's less important to have that little rounded piece down there. It's more important. Here we get it along the footprint, so we'll go 35 foot. Now, you want to exclude that piece? And but then do we need a variance? I mean, yeah, so we need then a all the, all, if we don't build on the footprint, according to what we were told before, then all of the variances have to be met. Well, we can't meet all the variances. And we, quite honestly, are at a point where the water is coming down, it's washing up. 
all of the dirt underneath our stairs, all of our water lines are starting. So it's moving through the house. It started in the toilet is all lost. My washer now is all lost. So we have to make some decisions. We've been working on this since September of last year. And, you know, so we have to know where to go with this home. My question is, if we take that front off, that the entire front round piece off, and build on the footprint, can we do that? <laughs> that's what we really need to know. And it, it's 35 foot, is the, that's what we're asking for. If we can take that off, it wouldn't make any difference. But the important part is we want to know what we want to do. You know, so if you're going off the footprint, you're saying he went off the footprint. And you just need a variant to go to 35 feet. Yeah, and we'll exclude, we'll exclude that front, that round part. That round part. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, the round part is there because we were told we yeah. had to emulate the exact yeah. footprint yeah. that we had. So what we did was emulate the exact footprint that we had. So in, in terms of due diligence, um, just on part of, for me anyway, it's, um, you know, we've, We've demanded or we we wanted and pressed for actual site plans, even on the exist, even on the um, assertion that we are building on the current site or the, 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 the current or the, the current plan, mm -hmm. um, because it is hard to have a, a legally binding vote on pictures and a belief that it, it will happen um, when there could be possibility where, you know, that that gutter just doesn't quite meet the existing plan. So I'm concerned that there's not enough information in detail here, except for a, a word saying, we're gonna build on the existing plan. So therefore, I'm wondering, does the board have enough information? Is everybody comfortable with the information that's provided? I don't believe the information being, like being comfortable is substantial for being properly done because we require site plan regardless for point of record. And I think as far as point of record, when it goes into the minutes, goes before even point of record. So, I mean, I would agree with you on that. that you know, it's not that hard to site plan or original footprint. We have site plan from the last ones. Yeah. No, it's 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 <clears throat> but this is the same, it's the same site plan. Because it's the same footprint. So it's the footprint exactly the, the same house. footprint. So it's the same site plan. I mean, as the original house, the site plan is not changing at all. The only thing that's changing is the height elevation. But it's not the original variance that's going to go on record, correct? I think the only one's the variance is 35, 35 foot. Foot. Well, what, what's, the, what's the current height of the house? Do you have any idea? I would guess it's. Probably 20, what did you say, Chuck? 28, 30, yeah. right around there, 30. Chuck, if, if we were to follow Barry and me, how we're asking for more details in a site plan, um, is a way a, a, around getting more of those details to make sure that in the remarks or whatever it might be that. Um, there's there's a clear linkage to the current footprint being aligned in the violation of that when the when it goes before your office i i, I just don't know how to cover ourselves um to make sure that the current site plan or the current footprint will be there in 2022 when the house goes up or 2021 when the house goes right. up we have a we have a site plan that we have sent in the report for the house for the original yeah. house yeah. you have Surveys, and we have surveys. Yeah, we, yeah. Have surveys. Yeah. we have surveys with it on it. We gave the surveys to you when we were here last time. So you have so, surveys in your record. And I mean, obviously, the building plans are going to have to be approved anyway. And we just need to make sure that when we go, that we have the height area. Is, is there a basement in that house now? 
Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just for the record, uh, are you Mr. Cook? Yes. And you are Mr. Cook. Yeah. Kim, thank you. I didn't see it in the formal yeah. petition. Is there a basement in the house now? There is a basement there. They go from about 742 feet at roadside to 736 at the lakeside. So there's a eight foot difference. The, the only thing I could say right now is that if if you want to build on the same footprint, that's fine as long as you don't go over the height of the current house. Am I correct? And they can rebuild on that footprint and not and not go up to thirty five feet. But that's why we're asking here. The variance we're seeking is from 20. So, did, are you, Mr. President, are you saying to my question, it, it doesn't matter? It, like, I don't need to see it because if they weren't going up to 35 mm -hmm. or extending the current, then they, they would just do it. And I would just drive my car and say, oh, they're new construction. They, I know what it now. So, right. so, therefore, I don't actually need the confirmation that it will be the same. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, I, that's, that's why we have the building commissioner to check. I'm not trying to be difficult. No. We've had no, previous I, cases. I just, so I mean, I I mean my my question is there were just two homes at 34 so 35 feet. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, it's about yeah, it's about the current 11. the current footprint, just confirming yeah. that that Yeah, no, no, no. I we are not going to deviate from the current footprint. If you so want us to take that out without having to go through a lot of others, if you want us to take the Roundabout out in front, we're good with that. It's not that we. I just, I don't care, but I don't want to do it if we have to go through all the variances because we've been through all these variances and we weren't granted them. So we just well, stay on the footprint so we don't have to get a variance. Well, the variances we were looking at before was a brand new construction right. on the lot that was uh, very, very about, difficult. No, no, no. But I'm talking about the front, the road variances, the side variances. Oh well, yeah. Those those are going to be on any lot and, and any change. any time. But it, that's that's this is completely different than what you were asking for. Right. Before. That's why we're not. And and one of my one of my concerns that we when we talked earlier was, if you brought it to that, then this this lot to the south could not be sold by you at some point to somebody else. I, I don't know if I made that comment, but as as long as it's a separate lot, you you might even try to sell it. To somebody else, and I don't somebody want to see that. And see, and that's one of the reasons I was completely against building a house on that because completely yeah. separate lot, and that lot was not. I guess, no, 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 I guess I feel like that we are asking for a height variance that was just granted to three people before us, and we're asking. You know, I I feel like shouldn't it just be based on that? Like well, they're all, they're all they're all different <laughs> situations. Yeah, yeah, every situation is looked at, particularly as the situation at the end. Not not somebody came in before you, somebody comes afterwards. Just like what I was talking about before, of course. This one lot where I thought should be moved back because that old one's not in there. So you want you don't really want to have that issue at this point, right? And I mean, yeah. still the height was pretty, but there's difference in each case. Yeah. Yeah. We would go on the same footprint, you know, 35 foot. I mean, that's the that's what we're asking for. And, and then if you want the that, tree that is spread out across the entire front of our house is way higher than 35 feet. And, and so, uh, but we, we don't we're not talking about the trees. That's but it will be safer because that tree won't be there. I don't think we want the trees there. No, no. this won't be I know it's clear start as we can, you know, we're going to be better off without the tree. That tree needs to go. You'll be better off without the tree as well. Questions from the board? Mr. Osmond. No, I don't have anything. I, you know, we've been down this road enough 
the, the cooks and they're trying to accommodate it and I feel like seven feet is not that big a difference to me. That's my comment. Uh, I think we need to resolve something with these people. They've been in here too many times and we need we need to come to some kind of conclusion here. Right? I, I would agree. I'm just saying that the house is just going downhill so fast and I can't even make a decision because I don't even know what to do. And there's a real water problem there too. And we are willing to take care of that water problem coming off that hill. But it is a problem. Mm, sure <clears throat> I mean, the common problems around. No doubt. Mr. Eubler, have any questions, comments? <laughs> Mr. McManoway. I have not at all. Mr. DeWitt. Did I hear you say earlier that they're going to be coming in to the property to, to factor to the south? This would be their entrance. Can you combine the property with me? This will be coming in from that property. Yeah. So combining those properties might make sense if the only access uh, is through. I didn't realize that myself. So. There's table drawn up. I mean, showing me that. So you're using your driveway as going to be coming down to the property here and then through here. I don't know what page that is. I'm going to get this one right here and just going to show them right here. One right here. Look at this page here. They come in. The driveway. Yeah, as far as and we just did that property. because we had an incident where people drive on that corner and kind of grandkids, and one of them just got hit. I'm sorry. I... That we are right on that corner, <clears throat> and we have eight grandkids under six, and one of them almost got hit by a car, and it was like, okay. Yeah, that whole west side right there yeah, is very good. dangerous. Right. And that was always why the issue came up. One morning, slide back toward the lake, get away from the road. I mean, yeah. to get kids crazy. away from the road, they're safe. But I mean, and but right now, I mean, as far as what Chuck just brought up, as far as your access off of that property over there, which is a good idea, but you're also using two parcels, two separate parcels for use for one. And so combining the two properties would still be an issue that probably should be done. And it's all two problems. Right. They, mm -hmm. in, in all fairness and the transparency, they can pull into the new part where the garage now sits. And they've got that showing here that there is a, a garage and they can pull into that garage. Right. In all fairness. And that's where the curtain garage is. That's right. where the curtain right. So there's, I mean, for us, it makes sense to keep it there just because you have to bring everything from downstairs up. But from a safety aspect, it makes a lot more sense to have. I agree. I agree with the practicality, 100%. But I, I think that it would be better if those two properties were combined. But and here's, I, here's the other side of it. They're entering that other property for convenience, not by necessity, because they can necessity they can get into the garage. We're not landlocked. Right. No, they're not landlocked. And that was that was my concern when I saw the road. But since they've got this garage, they're not landlocked. Right. So that's by preference that they come in on their other parcel. So as much as I would like for you to combine all of those, I wouldn't ask them to. But if you did, I would be very happy. <laughs> I would ask you. 
Questions from the audience or comments? I'm, I'm Emily King. I'm live on Metro Circle. And I'm just curious is if there's a, um, if a home is totally demolished, does that change the original footprint? Mm, well, because no, I, because I you, did, you have. have leave a wall or something. No, no, that's, no. that's not correct. You know. Okay. And you just, that's as long good. as it's the same distance from everything, you can get your foundation okay. and footers to go up with it. You don't have to leave a wall. And so with the basement go probably as well. Yeah, it'll, it'll go at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I love the basement. We I mean, took Chuck down there. I mean, it was probably one of the reasons we bought the house. But um, the last time they were there, my brother-in-law was saying that the water is coming off, and under those back steps, it's almost washed all of the dirt out from under those back steps. <clears throat> yeah, we've had some pretty hard rain lately. It's yeah. going to find some places to get in. Was it King? Emily yes, can. Emily can. Mike? Dan, um, I understand what Mike's calling. Uh, I understand what Mr. Eubler is talking about. And having been through this many times um, and having spent a lot of money over the years on architects, they've already spent, I think, some money on what I saw was two homes being designed or one being designed and one being remodeled. And now what they've done is 180 degree turn to, to make this thing work. As far as the site is concerned, you know, they're going to want to get, number one, a surveyor out. Number two, they're going to want to stake the existing foundation or make some comments. And, and a guy like Dave Kaiser could do that or whatever. So that you can be satisfied that the house that they want to build is going on the same footprint. You can approve a 35 foot variance subject to them giving you that, that site plan. Yeah, and and they can do that. Uh, that that's one of the first things Dave Geyser will do is come up with a site plan. So they could present that back to you. You could then approve that and to be comfortable that they're building on the site they want to build on and that it's being uh, built on exactly the same site that you were. And, Bingo, they're done. Because all they're asking for is a 35 foot. Thanks. And, and it could be a contingency or it could be a stipulation of the, of the granting the variance that they submit to the building commissioner a survey with the house located. Well, honestly, we have to have a site plan that's submitted to Chuck for the uh, for building permit. Sure. I mean, you're going to have to site plan. Yeah, unless I have that, I don't right. sign up. But yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't submit the permit. That's right. But I think they're saying they'll go above that and bring it back to you. Oh, well, no, I trust your job. I mean, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather really bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only reason I would is because they have been involved for almost a year now. And, and we, could, we could move them along a little faster if we could bring it to you. So I, I think. By going with the original uh, footprint, I see no need in this because we will have the site plan and be on record. So, I mean, as far as I mean, it satisfies me 100%. Dan? Yes. Go follow your member of town council. Um, are they asking to exceed the 35 feet? No. No. Okay. That's just a clarification. Thank you. No, they just have to have a variance. Just because they're going from a single level to a second level okay. on, okay. on the original okay. footprint on a non conforming lot. Mm -hmm. Other questions or comments from the audience? Anybody online that would like to make any comments or questions? If so, unmute your mic and identify yourself. Okay, not we ready to move finding a fax.
Is this a situation like you found out before as far as not going over 30 feet on the other one? Just, just allowing to go to 35 or That's down. what this is for, yeah. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, again, I will remind you if you vote no on any of these questions, you must vote no on the variance. Based upon the evidence submitted, I find that number one, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number two, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property, including the variance, will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number three, the strict application of the terms of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Eubler. Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. The chair votes no. Would entertain a motion that we approve this variance. I'll make a motion we approve the variance. I'll say. Okay, how do you vote on the variance, Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Eubler? Yes. Mr. Gabinaway? Yes. And the chair votes no. Variance passed. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye. 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 Sure. Go right ahead. We're taking a quick break here. Jeff, can you eat the snacks now? Oh, <laughs> donuts. Got them in the car? I don't think they would allow I don't think so. Although they're doing it in the park now, which I think is great. That, yeah. Aren't they? Aren't they having a, a wine something? Yeah, they have concerts down the, yeah. or the amphitheater. I, mean, if, if they, I can tell you where you're going. Yeah, I've never been there. Yeah. 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 They do that at um, Plymouth, too, right? At the yeah. riverfront. And we monitor very, very, very yeah. carefully. Yeah. yeah. 1974. Yeah. I worked in New York. Which Dan is glad I lost. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're happy as a lion, I lost. Oh, okay. so, but I worked with you have a lot of this to a grand weekend in the family and all that, okay? Deep pubs to a restaurant. Uh, for 20 yeah. years with a taste of so real nice yeah. 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 yeah, the deal fell through. Oh, really? Oh, God. 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 Oh, God
who, who was behind that restaurant, Jim? Uh, 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 yeah, but uh, anyway, I was uh, 12 years, almost 13, yeah. Is there another we have two other in between us. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. What are the other two others? Are they in the area? Uh, no, one lives in Rome, Italy, and the other one lives in Chicago. Uh, never mind, the, the mic's on. No, uh, yeah, the mic's on. <laughs> no, I did not. My daughter did, though. I have one of my daughters who's in Northwest. Years and years ago, we met with your dad uh, because my folks owned a place just up from uh, uh, West Shore, but up toward the north. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I need, I need to keep my mouth shut. Three kids. I'm getting in trouble. That mic is on. So we need to sign up. 25 singles. Yeah. Ever is great. That was for 17 years. What page is that? Uh, you're at 24. That was a while you were talking, I was looking and I was like, you know, I thought, well, we'll pull one. That's, that's trust standard. But then as I continue to read, it's like, no, they're interchangeable based on the circumstance. The only time is 25 feet is 25 feet greater than one of the sections. So if you get two houses that are 10 feet on the lake, you still get a 25 feet yeah. without a turn. As long as they're staying in the Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, Actually, but I you've been going through all this in terms good. of the yeah. complication. Sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, we got one. We have one coming up next month. It's going gonna, gonna, gonna to be like that. So they're they're probably well. It's in the South Street, the house on the corner. That's coming up next month. I think they want to go out beyond their neighbors. Which one? Yeah. Yes. It's the yeah. one that's yeah. right on the end yeah. Okay. Yeah. of South Street. It's great. And if you look, they did a survey, and I don't think they realize the survey oh, goes oh, so we can, yeah. inside. There's a, they have some uh, Arbor Vita there, go along there. They're like 12, 15. They go, the survey goes inside of those. Oh, wow. So there's about 10 to 15 feet that I don't even know. It's no, no. It's so they're going to ask for a variance from the road when they want to oh, no. build a massive house on that corner. And so they're going to have to do a side yard setback variance. Because otherwise, they're going to be out there. Wow. And then I think they want to go out to the lake. They have, you know, they're probably right now that the thing is yeah. what we're talking about every other house along there lines up yeah. as far as the front to the lakeside so, so the Larry's saying you could come if you aren't impeding the 25 feet the, the line of sight you could come off 25 feet that would put that that would put that house like but in all those houses 50 feet in front of the other house I think we should go on with the meeting. Yeah, we are. We're going to have to finish this. Now that, now that Ms. Mr. McManaway is back, we'll move on to our last item, our last petition. Uh, Mr. Easter Day. Yes, the last petition is for Joan Brandt, and it's at 280 West Shore Drive. And we're asking for a 35 foot height variance to rebuild upon the same footprint. I have Jim Jones here, who I don't have any handouts, amazingly enough. It's all included with the variance packet, but he does have the plans and the address And I can pass the plan around until I see it. Um, what Mrs. Brandt would like to do is build on the same footprint that's already there. Uh, it's a single story, so she needs to go, she'd like to go two stories high. The overall height will be, per plan, 30 feet, four inches. And we'll, you know, as we usually do with Chuck, we'll set that grade height at the beginning of the project to make sure 
everybody's on the same page. Um, one of the things we noticed as we walk the property, right now there's like total coverage on that lot, either old paper bricks or concrete. All of that's going to go away. Um, so the previous situation will be improved on the property. Um, there's nothing else she's asking for other than going up that extra floor. And that's why she's asking for the max variance out of 35, or excuse me, the max out of 35. Um, so the house will probably be a couple people with that. Mr. Jones, can you give me the company name and all that for the record? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mirror yeah. Custom Homes. It's M I R A R. Thank you, sir. Sure. Don't give me a spell, Jones. So. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're even up the side of the house. There's it's just the you know, old paper brick they laid out, and there's some kind of big board. But <clears throat> she won't be doing any of that. Um, all that's going to be torn out and then replaced by land. The present house is. Do you have any idea how close it is to the property lines? How close it is to the lake? I mean, it looks like it's right on the property line to the south yeah, and no, very no, close no. to being right on the property line to the north. Yes. Hi, Jane Mitchell. I live at 270, so I'm, the, I'm south of this property. The house doesn't sit right on the property line. There is a small fence on the property line. Neither one of us have very much property either way. But I'd say there are three or four feet, probably. I mean, from the fence line, which I believe is on the property line. And you're to the south, you say? I'm to the south, and it's their fence. Um, and then the front, they have a two-story porch not enclosed on a concrete pad and then less than 10 feet, maybe five feet, probably five feet to the water would be my guess. Thank you. Have you had a survey on the property yet? Uh, I haven't had one though, no. We've got a site plan drawn here and if we can scale it, you know, give us, give us a rough idea of that house. That house. Which is pretty much what she said. Yeah, here. It's probably four. This is probably five ish. And then it goes to the video. 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 I'm sorry. I hear Oh, that's a fourth patio. It's not an extension of the house. I, 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 yeah, I, I didn't go out and look at it. I should have. One across the road, and yeah, because this is right now. I'll show you what I'm talking about. The neighbor, I got the triangle. Is that the that? I don't know because it looks like it. Yeah, that would be the thing. That is that, that's a rebuild. This one just got rebuilt. That's where that blue one is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, again, that's in that you know who owns what and right. it looks like all of those the county has. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, you did you have any information on that? I, I, I'm completely. Look at the site plan. I mean, at the road, there's probably 10 plus feet that sit back from the road. Uh, one not in the whole section, I wouldn't guess. Well, maybe. I don't know. 
it doesn't look like it in the whole section here, but yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah, one corner and, and the part of the house or where she's talking about gets close to the lake. That's actually the walkout patio. That is a walkout patio. Yeah, so it's not the house itself, it's the walkout patio. Right. And that's probably five ish feet. But the, the new house will include that walkout patio. They'll have a patio just the same. Yeah, the same patio, the same floor of the house, be the same conditions. Um, you have to have that patio. I mean, we're talking no, no impervious, impervious property. Well, oh, she is, she's improving the permitted situation by clearing all the old. Well, I realize that, but you're only proving so much when you can prove a whole lot more. Right. But is that, that a question that is going on the same footprint? The patio is not on the footprint. It is. No, it's not. It's unless it's got the whole footer and well, it's all the way into that patio in the house. No, well, there's no footer. Is it? Well, I don't know if there's a footer under or not. No, I'm just saying if it is or isn't. I don't know. It doesn't want under or not. I mean, you can't prove it to the same footer if not. Got the same idea as far as what footer. So what's the footprint? What is that? What's the definition of the footprint? The footprint is the house, not your patio that's added to the house. Well, that's the case anybody brought there before. Well, they're not building the house on it. That's a patio. Right. As I understand, you can. What kind of a patio are you talking? Is it is this a concrete slab no. patio? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can go right up to the because she, she would do the same thing that's there now. So the house itself will not be any bigger than footprint exactly the same size and that does not include the patio well it does in essence the house itself is the same size and the patio is the same size it only approved the patio itself uh, see I, i'm very confused then about the picture um I, from what I see in this, and maybe I'm this. If this is what you're talking about, going from the road here, mm -hmm. right? There's not a big patio here like shown in this picture. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not a patio. This is what I was thinking. This is the lakeside. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is the walkout patio right now. It's existing right now. Existing right now. This but it's is... going to become a screen porch. Uh, that's what she'd like the lower level to be as a screen porch. Well, that's that's in part of the house. And it's within, yeah. Where's the existing house now? It's, it's this is the, the architect drew this footprint right on the same footprint as the existing house. So it goes from here to there. Yeah. And this is it's right now it's set up with a walkout or excuse me a. A walkout patio. This is all concrete, and above it is a deck off the main level. And basically, we can't approve that without a variance for that. This right here, as far as going, what you're asking is going the same footprint. You want not to exceed 35 feet. And this is all we can do as far as the height increase is on the footprint. Yeah, this this section. Yeah, this is not even part of anything that's being asked for tonight, because when you get that, you have to come back and get a variance to put that within the setback. Right here. Really? Yeah. Am I right, Dan? I, I, I don't know. That, that wasn't. Well, it, it, that was what I was asking. If the patio is part of the footprint, and if so, is that going to be part of the house? And I still haven't gotten a straight answer on that. It, and, and you were saying no, it'd just be well, patio, you're but you're putting. Yeah. Well, but you're, you're you're telling me that it, you said it was just going to be a patio. Now it's going to be screened in with the with the a floor above it. A deck above it, which is what's there now. Yeah. There's a deck up there now. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing here in this picture, there's a deck out over the Ford patio. I don't. I'm not sure what. 
This is the only picture I have of this yeah, house. From, yeah, and that's this, that's got to be it. That's the deck right there. That part of it. Is just and it's over. That's not the, so. That's not the port patio. This correct. Is port, yeah, that's like a deck patio. over a port patio. Yeah, you know, it's up, a, it's up in the main. Well, level. that's all part of the house. Yeah, that's existing right now. The deck. Okay. They, the have deck. A, they have a two-story. Okay, the deck is above it. Is that a current picture? Uh, well, it's probably from at least a year ago. Okay. For their house stops, and then on the. Their house stops, right. and then on the top, there is a deck that comes out, and underneath that, there are pillars that come down and a little railing okay. over the concrete. Okay, and that's and then all then part they of the. Five feet of grass. Yeah. Yeah. So that's here's what it is. This is off pictometry, and this is from the lake side. So they've got, they do have a oh, okay. over roof over it now and everything. So since that's attached to the house, I would say that's part of the house. What is the current height of the house? Um, yes, maybe just by eyeballing from the road up, it looks like it's about 26, 28 feet high. Of the that, is road. that where that's measured from the road, I see it. Chuck? Um, the average, no. That got a foot toward in it because the tent was the leaning to the house and then rebuild it back. Is that, is that that's a pad underneath? Yeah. The tree. And it's attached to that. So it's already attached. So that means that the new one is actually a part of it. Yes. Do you have an estimate for the height of the house, Chuck, at this point? Uh, right now, we looked at it, it's probably mid to high 20s, 25, 27. On the road side, it's probably about 30 now on the lake side. And if you just do a general average, eight feet from the bottom level, nine feet from the top, that's 17, so that you can pretty much tell. I'm just estimating that there's a newer home to the north of this property. Yeah. At the proposed height she wants to go, she'll be at or just below that. That's that blue, is that blue yeah. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. The Meyer property. Yeah. And that, that was built before we changed the ordinance that said they had to come for a variance for the 35 feet. And the new variance or the new ordinance says they have to, even if they build on the same footprint. And, and 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 truthfully, um, this is an area on the lake that has caused us a lot of concern because there are houses on very small lots there, right next to each other, and they keep wanting to get them higher and higher and higher. And that's one of the reasons that uh, that's one of the reasons that um, we made that change in the. Uh, Ordinance. Yeah. I think it all in all it's like six feet higher than what she does. I'm sorry. I think it's gonna be about six feet higher than what we were doing at this point. It's currently one story though, now. With a walk out four days ago. No, it's currently one story with a walkout. Two, two story with a walkout. Two story. Correct. That's correct. Is there a full basement now? Yeah. Walkout. That's what comes out underneath that deck. But this. Basement spots. That's that. Start of the day. Correct. But it looks like it has windows on a lot. Does it have windows on the north side now for the basement? Because it looks like it goes down fairly quick. I mean, in, in this picture, it's stone there, but there's four windows there. So um, 
on Lakeside you're talking about? Uh, north side. Uh, north side. I can't recall. So I think there are a couple windows on that side, but they don't go back. They don't go back too far towards the road. Towards the I was out there, but I don't know. I didn't walk around. And on, on your side, does it go down that quickly? Or is it more gradual on that side? I don't know. It looks like a two story house to us, what we're seeing. So you can see the basement now. Yeah, they don't have many windows on there, but yes, you can see into their basement. Okay. Yes. Okay. Questions? Mr. Osmond. I think I've got that on the other side of the picture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the north side here just a note on the side to show that entrance like a and that's deck the walking out that deck wall. above there oh and that, this white stuff we're seeing then is so going to get yeah. the entry now yeah. oh. the side of the house oh. side, yeah. so, so that that's not just really yeah. the deck. Yeah. Well, it's out past that that's why i, I, I yeah, that, that's why i was confused see so then right so is that lower then this uh, see, here yes, looks like a slope. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, it'll be a lot east side. On the east side. No. Yeah, it's really that's why it's so it confusing. Right. Because that's bigger than I thought. Oh, no idea. And this is Wow. Yeah, I that white that we're seeing is not patio, that's part of the roof. It's just the roof. It's just the roof is public. Mm -hmm. That's what's going away. It's not part it's of the mm -hmm. It's just the deck above the That's looking on the top side. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of looking at it from the north of the top. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, I mean, we're obviously the floor of it. Right there would be the, the yeah. floor yeah. of the second. Yeah. Before you walk out there will be the floor of this floor. Okay. That's what the deck is. Yeah, yeah the deck's the floor of, of the second floor. Of the second floor. Above the basement. Right, above the basement. <laughs> I'm sorry. Back in the 50s, they called them walkouts. Yeah. But for a, a large portion of that house, it's more of a first floor than it is a basement. And that's that's what I was trying to get at. That it was asking about if it went down so quickly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the grade was on that on the road the lake is gotta be right twenty feet. Um Mr. McManaway, did you have any questions? No, I, I just myself. I, I'd like to establish where that foot is actually at. Sure, you can say I want to go up for sure, because if the footer comes all the way over, I don't know that I would necessarily be in agreement with the height increase. Just, um, you were asking about the height difference. Uh, Lakeside is seven thirty-four. And at the roadside, it's seven. Post go three foot into the ground, that's a footer. You can't, that's that's an argument you're not gonna win. They, they've got 
footers under there to hold that. Those posts go down. We're not siding on the concrete. If, if that extends down, just like a pole barn, the foundation is what's in the ground. I don't, you can't, there's no way to trade footer for, for the post for the corners of the existing whatever is there. But is that footer for use? I mean, are we going back to the to the footprint being just the line corner to corner? Or are we going back to footer that the house is being built on? I'm not sure I understand your question. I'm understanding. That, can you build that house by using those four and two post things? You're going to have four in the footer. We've already built a deck on it. So I say it's a structure. It's attached to the house. It's part of the structure. And I, I say you can go up from there. Right. That's existing. Right. You're saying. You're saying it's existing. Yeah. It's existing. And I agree. I, it, it, it's existing. I, existing. Yeah. Not the anchor. And, and I, I've got to admit, I, I could not vote for the, uh, if we want to rebuild on the same, but I, I could not vote for the 35 feet on that. Um, it's too much a house on too small of a lot as far as I'm concerned and should not go up another floor. And that's, that's my opinion, but um, I, I, I know we take these case by case, but we sat in here earlier and there's no, I know house going on a teeny tiny postage stamp lot and there were no questions asked. Which is one of the setbacks. And well, I don't know which one you're talking about. You're talking the about the one, one previous. Oh, the first one? There's a lot of questions asked. If this was the first one. Yeah, that was, I know, I know. And it didn't go to 35 feet. I mean, this one's 30, around 30. It could end up 31. It could end up 29. Um, depending on where we set the grade. You can't 35, but we can't go. No, and that's just, I mean, that's because that's, the, that's what the ordinance is. So. But that's why I'd like to know how. How tall the house is now? Well, on the plan it shows thirty feet four inches to the top of the ridge. I mean, it's. But you're talking about the new house or that now yeah, the house, house now? Well, the old house, I, yeah. The old house, I, like I said, was twenty six to twenty eight feet. I didn't put tape on there. We talked about. And if I grant this one, if I vote for yes on this one, next person is going to come in one to a 35 foot limit. It's going to say, well, you voted that way on the last one. We don't do, no, we don't do things that way. I understand. And if I'm, I'm telling, and, and all I'm telling you is my opinion. That's not the rest of the board. If you change that in the future, you didn't ask for 35 feet, he asked for 30 foot, four inches. If I'm hearing you correctly, we need to find out where the whatever that's called, where you start measuring from, and then we need to measure the present house, and then we need to determine where the new one would fit in that, in terms of what his plans are. Is that what I'm hearing? I, I'd like to know how much impervious uh, surface we're talking about here on this particular lot, right on the lake. Now I, you know, we can. And I, I realized looking at this picture, it goes across the road and all that again. Like but again, these houses are right on the road, um, right. one right after the other, right after the other. Yeah. And, this, yeah, and, and and we've already, and, and like I said, that house to the north is one of the reasons that um, that whole thing was changed as far as going 35 feet because they rebuilt on the same footprint and then right. boom, they went high. And um, we're trying to avoid that, uh, especially in this area, if because there's such small houses. Like or lots. I'm sorry. You'd like to see the before and after impervious? Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. As well as the, the height, right. the existing height. And there is one board member that is not here tonight. Um, and I'm telling you how I would vote on it uh, right now. Uh, we could table this if you'd like to the next and bring more information in, or we can bring it to vote tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm teasing him. I know, you know. I kind of agree with Dan. I think that, you know, we need a little bit more information. We would move to table it and yeah. see if we can get you some more information. I was going to suggest hey, the same thing. Just want the problem. existing height. You want to know what the impervious is at this point? Mm -hmm. and, and where the grade would put you on the new height. So you're asking for either and I want 30 it. or 31 or whatever. Yeah. I mean, if you're getting that folks to that mine, either way, but I know I wouldn't vote unless I could get an actual legal establishment of what that foot is, what needs to be. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have the building commission look at it. No, I'm not going by building commission. I'm talking about legal. What do you mean by legal? He can't vote. What do you mean by legal? He can't vote. I'm supposed to bring you information with me in a way. Yes, I know. Come on. Right. I'm sorry. You think I don't know what no, three feet in the ground not is? Arguing right now. I've inspected more buildings than you've ever been in. I doubt that. I don't think so. You're not quite that good. We would move to table. Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. We're going to table this till the August meeting. August 19th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Old business, Mr. DeWitt. I have no business. I'd like to get out of here. Yeah, new Thank business you. coming? New business, too. Just I'd one like you were talking about. No, I know it's not straight. Nothing to you whatsoever with your job. Nothing personal, but I know what three feet is, so I take it personally. You know what? what? I know what three feet deep is. I know what a footer's supposed to be like. I've inspected them all over this county. I know. And I'm not saying you don't. 